Now in this tutorial, I want to show you how to convert your JSON feed into an SDK channel package. After setting up your channel and having your JSON feed, you first need to download the SDK channel pack that we've prepared for you. You'll find this download link below this very tutorial. Go and unzip the file. You will find four folders and two files in the channel template folder, but we'll talk about this a little bit later. The next step is to enable the developer mode on your Roku device. Make sure you have a Roku device linked and connected to your Roku developer account. Start your TV and your Roku device. Using your Roku remote, click home three times and then the up arrow twice and right, left, right, left, right. If you did everything correctly, you should see some text and an IP address on your screen. Write down your Roku device's URL displayed on the screen and then enable the development application installer. Read and accept the developer tools, the license agreement which enables you to build channels with Roku SDK and other development tools. Enter a password for your Roku device. <clears throat> now note that passwords are case sensitive, okay? And once you submit the password, your Roku device reboots. When the device finishes rebooting, it's activated in the developer mode and ready for sideloading the channels. If you did everything correctly, you should see a screen similar to this one with two tabs, Installer and Utilities. The next step is to install a utility called Putty. This little utility will help us generate the developer ID and the password for our package. The download link is below this video. Download, install and start the software. Copy and paste the device IP. We will use the 8080 port. Connection type other, telnet, then open. Type in genkey, G-E-N-K-E-Y. The first time this usually has an error, so type again genkey. This will generate your developer ID and password. Please make sure that you save this information in a file. It's very important because this information will be used to change or modify your channel if needed. Now to upload or sideload a channel into your Roku device, you need to create a zip with all of the content inside your channel template folder. Now click upload, select the zip file that you created and click install with zip. You should see the channel if everything is set up correctly on your television. Now you can preview what it looks like and see what changes you should make. The second tab is Utilities. Inside you can find the screenshot tool. This comes in handy to create a screenshot of your channel and use it later in your Roku settings. Now we will use this to preview the channel together. Now if you did everything correctly you should see this exact screen on your television. Now the top part where you can see the TV Boss Fire logo is called the channel overhead. We want to customize this template. Now let's see how we can do that. You need to replace the files inside the images directory to change your branding images. The correct tile size and format are below this video. I already have the branding images already prepared so copy these images into the image directory inside our template. Override the existing images. The next step is to change the manifest file. This file contains information about our channel design and content. Change the channel title, then replace the JSON feed URL with the URL from our TV Boss Fire setup. Now click save and let's make a new zip file and see how this has changed in our channel's appearance. Go back to the plugin installer and click upload. Choose the channel template, install with zip. And if you did everything correctly, you should see on your TV screen that we managed to change the channel logo, but the background still needs to change. Let's open the manifest file. As you can see in the background image line, we have nothing. 
So first thing that we need to do is delete this hashtag sign to activate the command line. Please copy and paste the path to our image folder, then copy the exact name and format of the image from the images folder. Let's save the changes and complete a new zip file or compile, sorry. Return to the installer, delete the previous installation and upload the new zip file. On your TV screen, you should now see the new version of your channel with the correct logo, content and background. And if everything looks like you want on your channel, we just they then need to click convert to squash FS. Now this option will reduce the size of our package considerably. After we have a success message, click Packager. Fill in the app name and a version. If the channel is new, you'll start with one. If the channel is already published, you need to increase the number version um, to be 0.1 and higher, for example, than the existing published version. To find out your current number, go to Roku Developer Account and on your channel preview page, scroll down and see the version here. Use the password you generated using Putty and click Package. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the package channel. Now download that and save it for later use in your Roku developer settings. And with this, you've created and packaged your SDK channel. How to publish a new SDK channel and convert your existing direct publisher channels into SDK in another video coming up shortly.